Hey guys, it's been a while, but uh, you know, not much has been happening here. So, uh, I'm going to use this video just to uh, introduce what I think I'm going to be doing next, which is I'm going to be picking up the uh, Fluval Evil Evo 13.5 uh, gallon setup. I'm going to be setting that thing up in. Uh, giving it a shot and see how it works so be sure to tune in for future videos trying to catch my fire fish here he keeps uh, flying right off of the camera there he goes anyway on this tank you can see the GSP is going nice here I've only got the white lights on it right now Otherwise, uh, the camera just kind of washes everything out. But, let's take a look down in the sump here. I was going to do some cleaning. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a little dark down there, but uh, yeah. Time to clean the skimmer there. So let me pull that out and get it cleaned up. Ew, man, that looks pretty crusty in there, huh? Anyway, I'm going to dump it out in the sink here, clean it all up, and uh, get it back on the tank. Alright, much better. Look at that thing. All cleaned up, and uh, good enough there. So, what I do is I take, uh, I just take paper towel, get in there and just kind of scrape squeeze these you know whatever clean some of that crap up throw it in the trash rinse it off that's it you don't have to scrub it or anything like that one thing i did want to show you though this is the uh, muffler or baffle whatever you want to call it you know that the air air comes in the top here goes down through a hose on the bottom into the uh into the into the skimmer a lot of time if you look closely here on this you get a bunch of crud, you get a bunch of salt creep that gets into here and blocks that uh, blocks that tube right there. So what I do is get a little piece of twine here, a wire, whatever you you know, whatever you can get, anything works, even a small Allen wrench, and I get in there, stick it into the tube, just kind of poke that stuff out. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and do that because I only got two hands. I'll show you what comes out. Alright, so I kind of just cleaned it up. I stuck the wire in the tube there, just kind of tapped it onto the counter here, and you can see if I can get my finger in here, you can see all this crud. It's all salt creep. So that'll block off your air and screw up your uh screw up your skimmer. So don't forget to clean that thing out. And let's get it back on the uh the skimmer get it running again all right one other thing i wanted to show you is uh don't forget to clean out the uh the inside of the skimmer too all that crud on there you know i guess at one point i had my bubbles kind of or my skimmer turned down low so i take my paper towel just get in there and move it around a little bit look at all that crud Yee. All right, the rest will leave and get it put back together. All right, so I uh, put the back, the top back on, screwed this thing back on, muffler, you know, put the hose down on the bottom of it here. I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in and let's see how it does. Looks like I'm getting good bubbles, just got to adjust this up a little bit. Worry about there a little, let it settle it down and let it settle down and then uh, adjust it a little bit more. I just put a little bit of water in here too, topped off some water. So, uh, you know, as the salinity changes in your tank, with water evaporating, 
the sort of bubble factor changes too, and so you gotta you gotta kind of adjust this as you go. So I'm gonna leave it right there for now. Let things settle down because I'm gonna scrub out some uh, stuff in the tank too, and uh, that's it. Filter sock here. I know in a picture here in the video, it, it looks a little cruddy. It's actually cleaner than it looks. It's kind of dark in there. Got a little bit of salt creep here. Try not to screw around too much here. I don't need to spring any leaks. All right. Uh, what else am I gonna do down here? I just changed the. I just changed all the stuff that's in the. Uh, the kind of overflow right there so uh, it does not need to be changed right now not until next uh, water change so that's it little skimmer cleaning like I said I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pick up that uh, fluval evil Evo. why can't I say that and then uh, I'm gonna start a new series you know, we'll cycle the tank. I don't even know what I'm going to put in it yet. I don't know what it's going to look like. But, uh, time for a new tank. It's been a while. That's kind of why I haven't been doing too many videos, because, well, you know, got to work, got a day job, all that stuff. Anyway, look forward to doing the new series. That should be fun. I think I'm going to go check out some of these uh, aquariums. I think you can get it at Petco for like 150 or something, maybe with a discount. So look for that series uh, upcoming. Matter of fact, let me, know if, let me know in this video what you think I should do with it. What kind of fish I should have in there and corals and whatnot. Anyway, don't forget to hit subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the like button. Till next time, bye.